Hey ladies and gents, Professor Wagner here uh, with a demonstration of glass penetration. We'll be shooting this clear piece of glass in front of us with a 22 caliber rifle and, and analyzing the fracture patterns. So uh, stay tuned. Firing in three, two, one. All right, gang, so now we can actually see very well the fracture that fractures that were formed by the penetration. So we can see the radial fractures radiating out from the center and then the concentric fractures and that kind of arced or circular pattern or spider web pattern all around. If we look from the side, you can see the glass itself, and if we feel, is rather smooth right up to the edge of the penetration itself. However, let's take a look on the other side and see what that looks like. You know, so we have our fragments that were pushed out from the center of the penetration scattered along the sheet here. But let's look at the, the fracture itself and the penetration. So once again, we can see our radial concentric fractures, but if we look closely at the edge of the penetration, you can see it slopes in toward the center of the penetration. That's what we call a crater. And what we're actually observing right now is the crater effect. Um, essentially, the side opposite the side from where the force, or in this case the projectile came from, forms a cratered appearance. So you can always tell which direction a penetration originated from when analyzing glass. So remember it kind of goes in small and comes out big. You can kind of see that and it's, it's actually really easy to feel with your fingers. So that's our first penetration. Let's, uh, let's do it again. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we can see our first penetration. Uh, what we're going to try to do is line up a second penetration and see how the two penetrations interact in their fracture patterns. So keep an eye on our first penetration. I'm going to try to get the uh, second one fairly close to this one. Firing in three. Two, one. All right, let's hit pause and, and take a look at these penetrations. All right, so if we look very closely at our penetrations, I can see they, they seem to run in together. Uh, you can see the, the radial fractures from our second penetration reading it out with our concentric fractures. And it might be difficult to say, well, Professor Wagner, how do we know which one came first? Well, if you look very closely at the penetrations, you can see there's a radial fracture coming from the second penetration up here that stops when it hits the radial fracture from the first penetration down here. Radial fractures from later impacts always stop when they reach radial fractures from earlier impacts. And that's a, just a really good example. So we can tell for certain that our lower penetration came first because its radial fractures go all the way out and our upper penetration came second because its radial fractures stop right there when they meet the radial fractures from the first. Let's see if we can get another shot in there and, and observe it even, even better. Now this one, after our third shot, this shows just how complicated our penetration count can become and how the sequence can get a little bit harder to, to determine. If we see here, original penetration is down here. Our second penetration is up here. And you can see where the radial fracture still impacts. But if we look here, you can see our third penetration. And you have some spalling kind of around in the, in the chips and flakes have come off. 
but you can still see radial fractures from the third penetration stop when they meet the radial fractures from the pre prior penetrations. And you can see as the glass becomes weakened, you can have secondary fractures begin to form as well. So you can see just how complicated it is. As we place more shots into the glass, it's going to become even more complicated and harder to tell the exact sequence. In fact, if, if you didn't really know what we were looking for, you might have the impression that this was all the same penetration when we know for certain that it wasn't. Let's try putting one more bullet through here, see what happens. Alright, so now we've placed our fourth penetration through the glass. I don't think I'm going to do any more because it's starting to really weaken the structural integrity. You can see where we have our first penetration here, our second one here. And now it's, it's kind of hard to tell which came first and which came second from this one because we're missing some of our radial fractures that have kind of broken out because of the, the secondary impacts. Here's our third penetration, still looking pretty good. And then our fourth one is down here. Now this one could be a little bit confusing. You can see it has radial fractures it's that are stopped by the radial fractures coming from our first. But then you have this kind of interesting thing right here. And if you look at it closely, you can see how it appears that a, a fracture from this stops when it gets to the fracture from this one. Uh, what we're actually seeing here is, isn't actually the fractures caused by the initial impacts. This is a, a secondary fracture after the, uh, the force of this one propagates through the glass, causing a, a shorter fracture to get longer and then impact here. But while that might confuse a layperson, you know better now because we have all of these multiple radial fractures stopping at this fracture. You know this fracture at least must have come earlier. So this definitely came after this one and that fracture could really only have come from this penetration up here. So we know this is our fourth shot. The thing is, since the radial fractures from this penetration don't interact with any of the radial penetrations or uh, the radial fractures from these penetrations, if we were at a novel crime scene, there'd really be no real way for us to tell if this was first, this was second, this was third, this was fourth, or if this was first, this was second, this was third, and this was fourth, or this was first, this was second, this was third, and this was fourth. Um, so as the window gets more complicated, so does the analysis, and uh, eventually we really just can't tell unless the uh, penetrations are placed precisely right, exactly the sequence of penetrations through glass. One or two, sometimes three, you can, but as the uh, penetration pattern gets more and more complicated, it really becomes almost impossible. All right, gang, so that's enough for analyzing penetrations. I'm going to post some pictures of penetrated window panes. You're going to have to tell me, based on the fracture patterns and the crater effect, uh, which of the penetrations came first and from which side of the glass. So that's going to be part of our lab report this week.